Sometimes have to change your point of view. Oh, what you think about some things, or even things you thought you knew. But then to your surprise, you will realize you prove as those who really love you always did and always do. Cause after all the changes you go through, you will still be you, and you don't have to change. Today was the worst day of my life. Okay, all right, maybe not the worst. The worst was Saturday, when my mother left. Today is Monday, the second worst. The first time I have to face everyone since she's been gone. I call it Black Monday. You have any dairy product? <laughs> We're looking good here, Miranda. We're looking really good here. I got your ham, I got your Swiss, got your tomato. All we need now is a little marshmallow and we're in business. Oh, forget it. Remember, no mayo, just mustard, okay? I couldn't find the mustard. It's in the refrigerator. I looked. Mom just bought some. <sighs> Maybe she took it with her. <laughs> oh. I wish she would have taken the sprouts with her. Listen, can you ask me these questions? I have a quiz fifth period. I never got to study. You want me to write you a note? No, that's okay. I'll get through it. Can we just not have any more family dramas on weekends, please? I'll, I'll do the best I can. The nuclear reaction within the sun converts what to what? Hydrogen to helium. Very good. Thank you. Lettuce? Sure. Name the three stages in the death of a star. White dwarf, red giant, and... Green giant. <laughs> no, Dad. So, so right here. Daddy. Black hole. Thank you. Oh, black hole, black hole, black hole. I gotta use your bathroom. <laughs> I guess Uncle Russell's sleeping in his van again, huh? When did he get back from Montana? Three o'clock this morning. You tell him about mom? Yeah. What do you say? Whoa, bummer. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Mr. Goodenpile. Hey, Bob. Well, uh, Joni made another coffee cake. She never lets us eat them. I don't know where they go. So, uh, Don, uh, how about we go down to Ray's, pick up some breakfast, huh? Uh, okay, just, uh, let me get my stuff. Great. Great. So how's your dad doing? You holding up? He's hanging in there. Well, your dad's a terrific guy, you know. I mean, he's one of the best. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Listen, you tell him if he needs to talk, I'm there for him, day or night. Or, you know, I mean, the three of us could talk. <laughs> if, 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 you know, if you, if you need to talk. Hey! Bob, my man! Oh, oh hey! Hey! Hi. <laughs> uh, well, you just got back from, uh, um... Uh, Montana, yeah. That was a rough trip. My girlfriend ditched me for some burnout. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and then I come back here to the bosom of my family and find out my sister split on me. Bummer. <laughs> so, uh, what are your plans? Oh, I'm getting it together. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of starting a business installing illegal cable. Well, uh, good for you. Bob, I thought you left ten minutes ago. Hey, Joe! Well, look at you. Miranda, I brought you and your dad a coffee crumble. I figured I'd better get it out of the house before the boys demolished it. Forget it, Bob. <laughs> Hey, John. Good morning, Dad. Listen, Dad, can you drop me off at school? Okay, uh, why don't you warm up the truck? Great, thanks. Uh, Donnie, meet you at Ray's? Oh, can we do that tomorrow morning, Bob? Oh, fine. Hey, fine, fine, no problem. Uh, bye, honey. Have a good day, killer.
Don, you all right? Oh, we're all right. We're all right. We're just going to have to get on with it. Miranda! Miranda! Oh, I am really sorry about what happened. Oh, oh you must feel terrible. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, Cheryl. No, are you sure? Because you really look awful. <laughs> Thanks. I'm fine. Well, you need to talk. I'm here for you. Get over here. How many people did you tell, Marcy? I only told Jane Gerberding. I swear. The girl has got the biggest mouth in the whole school. That's why I told her. <laughs> Listen, Miranda, it's better if everyone knows. If something's a secret, they can use it against you. You know, I really can't believe that you did this to me. Listen, Miranda, people need to be prepared. This was a terrible shock for all of us. I mean, everyone thought your mother was so cool. Oh, she was just like Cher. Oh, 826. Oh, you're the one. Yes, it's true. But you know what? I'm fine. <laughs> well, good. I'm fine, too. I'm in your fifth period physical science class, and Mr. Duquesne said you'd help catch me up. Oh, are you transferred? Uh, yeah. Jack Miller. Chicago. Swain. So are you going to be staying here for a while? Just till hell freezes over. When are you studying off? Third period? Oh. Mine's not till six. Well, how about after school? All right. Where do you live? No, uh, forget about my house. Really, uh, disaster area. No, really. I don't mind. Oh, no, we don't have anything good to eat at my house. Let's go to yours. Okay. <laughs> Fine. So do you. Let me just write it down. No, no, just tell me. I keep it up here. <laughs> 85 Muskegon Road. Got it. Later. He's cute. Do you think he has a girlfriend? I don't know. Why don't you ask Jane Gerberding? Miranda, look, you had no right telling her things about my private life. Miranda, listen. When my dad left my mom... The first thing I did was call Jane Gerberding. I gave her all the facts. The name of my father's secretary, how long they'd been doing it, the name of my mother's lawyer, how much she'd be getting in alimony. I mean, the next day everyone knew, but at least they had accurate information. <laughs> that is not the point, Marcy. I got called out of three classes this morning so some counselor could ask me how I was feeling. Miranda, that's the counselor's job. I mean, they make whatever you're feeling so boring that you don't have to be upset anymore. <laughs> I'm not upset, Marcine. Everybody thinks that I'm upset, but I am not upset. Hey, sure? It seemed okay this morning. They don't quote me. I might get heard about it from Jane Gerberding. <laughs> yeah, you know, Bonnie. Sure, I just took off on one of those wacko workshops. You know, where they sit around talking to dead people. Why the hell would anyone want to run away to Phoenix? We're not talking about anyone. We're talking about Bonnie. Oh, hey, hey, Don. Hey, Don. Hey, Thomas. How you doing? Well, about the same as I was five minutes ago, Mel, but uh, thanks for asking. <laughs> Is there anything I can help you with, Denise? <laughs> Denise got a paper cut, Dan. Oh, yeah. oh, Denise, now what did I tell you about drinking and filing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, mm. <laughs> All right, okay, I don't know how you know, but I know you know, so we might as well talk about it. Okay. Only if you want to, Dan. <laughs> well, fellas, what you heard is true. I'm quitting the bowling team. <laughs> so, uh, I guess you know about Bonnie, huh? Uh, your sandwich was a dead giveaway. No sprouts. Uh, well, Bonnie got the sprouts, I got the house. You got a good deal, Don. Oh, yeah, best sandwich I've had in years. You know, we're going to miss watching you pick the tofu out of your egg salad. Well, you're going to have to find something else to entertain you, Mel. Do you know any uh, good card tricks, Denise? <laughs> Denise, come on. Denise. Look, I'm, I'm okay. I'm still walking. Denise, lighten up. 
<laughs> I have to tell you something, Dad. As soon as the smoke clears, if no doubt, you're going to find yourself some wonderful gal. Yeah, I know it's tough, but uh, at least your wife didn't do what mine did. She stayed with me. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. Right, right. sure, sure. Right. Uh, you jerks! What? What? <laughs> Thanks. Nice house. Thanks. Uh, my workbook's in my room. Listen, if you want something to drink, there's stuff in the fridge, okay? Okay. <laughs> Uncle Russell, what are you doing? Oh, I'm hooking you up to cable. <laughs> you drilled a bunch of holes in the wall. We'll use them for something. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, hey. I'm not really going through your cupboards. Just looking for a glass. First cupboard on the right. Thanks. You a friend of Miranda's? Yeah. Well, an acquaintance. But you know, I really think we're going to be friends. I'm like that, intuitive. Who are you? Uh, Jack Miller. Chicago. Uh, Donald Marshak, Miranda's father. Oh, Mr. Marshak. You know, that's such an interesting name, Marshak. In fact, I knew some Marshaks down in Chicago. But they moved to Denver. Any relation? The only Marshak I know moved to Phoenix. <clears throat> so what do you do? I'm a hairdresser, Jack. <laughs> I'm a contractor. Blueprints. Oh, yeah, I love this stuff. You know, I'm thinking about becoming an architect. You ever read the Fountainhead? Great book. Let me get Miranda for you, Jack. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you getting anything on there, Don? Russell, what are you doing here? Well, I come in here, the door's wide open. It's freezing in here. Your junk's all over the floor. The TV's busted. I don't need to come home to this. It's Packers Bears tonight, Don. It's blacked out unless you got cable. I thought you'd like to watch it at home instead of some bar. November, Russell. Use your head. Sorry, Don. Oh. <laughs> Miranda? Miranda? What? Listen, uh, I have a lot of work to do. Maybe the next time you want to invite a friend over, you can let me know. Dad, look, I don't even know this kid. He's a transfer. I'm supposed to help him with science. What do you want me to tell him, no? Just let me know first. Well, what? I'm supposed to call you at work? Look, Miranda, I have a lot on my mind, and it's tough to have to come home and make polite conversation. Look, Dad, I have a lot on my mind, too. I mean, Marcy and Blatt, the whole school about Mom. Everyone kept coming up to me wanting to know if I was all right. My teachers kept giving me sympathy smiles. And then you come home and yell at me for something that isn't even my fault. Miranda, I'm not yelling at you. Yes, you are. You know, you didn't even thank me for getting up early and doing the laundry. Thank you, Miranda, for doing the laundry. <sighs> Guys at work said that I smelled as fresh as all outdoors. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I had a lousy day. Yeah, me too. Nobody got any work done. I had to send Denise home early. She kept looking at me. Oh, darling. <laughs> 
Listen, uh, try to go easy on yourself here, will you? Now, you don't have to win a medal for bravery. Okay. This kid is waiting for me in the kitchen. Mm, Jack Miller, Chicago. <laughs> oh, great. How am I supposed to go out there and face him with puffy eyes? Hey. <clears throat> No one will know. Hi. Oh, hello. Listen, come here for a minute, will you? I'm going to preheat this oven to 350 degrees, okay? Tell Miranda to bake for 40 minutes. I'm in here, Bob. Then remove the foil, sprinkle the cheese, bake for another 10. Joni, I think my gland is swollen. Okay, in a minute, Bob. Just tell her to be sure and not burn the cheese on top, okay? Okay. Look at that. How was your day, Bob? <laughs> oh, well, you remember the uh, insurance trust I was doing for Ray Hamelstein? Huh? He didn't pass the physical, Johnny. Oh, hi. <laughs> then, then I get a call, right, from Frank Farmer, all right? He is trying to launch his boat, and he slides his cutlass right into Lake Michigan. I tell you, Johnny, things are falling apart here. I mean, things are just falling apart. Bob, they calm down. Our life is fine. We're fine. I'm the one with the problem, not you. Yeah, you're, you're right. Come on, let's, let's go home. Nice to meet you, honey. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Bake for 40 minutes, remove oil, sprinkle a little cheese, bake for another 10. Don't burn it. Thanks. <laughs> nice shades. You expecting any clips? <laughs> Hey, we can do this another time. No, really. It's okay. Guess it hasn't been such a terrific day for you. My mother left us this weekend. Are your parents fighting? No. She left Saturday morning to go to one of her self-improvement workshops. She uh, called around 4 o'clock in the afternoon and said she was moving to Phoenix. I mean, she was here that morning. She never said anything was wrong. All of a sudden, she was just gone and she's not coming back. See, she's such a quitter. My mother quit on us just like she quit everything else she ever started. She'd begin a hobby, buy all the equipment, subscribe to the magazines, take classes, and then she'd just get totally bored and drop the whole thing three weeks later. But she's not a bad person. She couldn't do a load of laundry, but everyone was crazy about it. She wore what she liked to call scents. In the winter, it would be musk, and in the summer, tangerine. Wherever she was, he, he just wanted to stay in the room with her. She was the one who got me to play the flute. And when I complained that the band was drowning me out, she just... Gave me some earplugs and told me to play for myself. My dad adored her. I think she loves us, but she always had this look in her eyes. Like she wasn't quite sure what she was doing here. Can't believe I just told you all that. <clears throat> I have that kind of face. <laughs> Well, anyway. Physical science. <laughs> hey, I can't stay my mom's in the car. Here, just show where you're taking this. You don't have to eat it. It's funeral food. <laughs> so what'd you find out about him? Who? Jack. Jack? Come on, what'd you talk about? Science and the mysteries of the universe. So you talked about me? 
<laughs> You're unbelievable. Admit it. You did. <laughs> Your mother honking. Tell me, Miranda. <laughs> he loves you, Marcy. He loves you more than life itself. It was the way you touched his jacket. <laughs> Very funny. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Don. Uh, feeling really bad about the TV. Well, forget about it, Russ. But I'm sorry I blew up at you. You know what the problem was? I couldn't make the hookup because there was this cable truck cruising the neighborhood. And I didn't want to get you busted. Russ, it's okay. You can stay. It's really righteous of you, Don. <laughs> so what's for dinner? <laughs> Miranda? Coming! So how are we doing in the food department? Well, we have a choice. We have tuna casserole with little brown onions or tuna casserole with little green peas. <laughs> Let's order up. Mm. <laughs> green peas. <laughs> Let me know when the pizza gets here. Dad, when are people going to stop acting weird with us? Listen, honey, that's their problem now. It's not ours. Okay? Okay. Hi. Yeah, I'd like to order a large pizza with uh, green peas and little brown onions. Oh, Daddy, anchovies and butterscotch. Well, chocolate and pickles. And lemon and broccoli. I had a terrible day at school. Everyone patted my shoulders so many times, my sweater started to pill. But hey, let's look on the bright side. My skin didn't break out. We ordered pizza and it got here hot. I don't have any tests tomorrow, and I didn't have to clean the kitchen tonight. My dad is holding up pretty well, and I'm glad. I think we're going to be okay. I only got an 80 on my science test. The three stages in the death of a star are now white dwarf, red giant, and green giant. Thanks, Dad. Confidentially, Miranda. Tonight, a self-styled preacher who offers a love connection to salvation. Ex-members charge, brainwashing, and child abuse in a bizarre sex cult. The story tonight on West 57th. But first, a talk show host receives a death threat. Exciting mystery on Simon and Simon, next. <laughs> 